Here we are at the warm-up part 2a from our 5.2 number 27 notes. We're asked to write an equation of a polynomial with the following characteristics. Now, in just looking at this first one a, we see that as x goes towards positive infinity, f of x is rising towards positive infinity. In fact, I think what we'll do is just draw the rough sketch so that we can kind of see where these elements are coming from. So here is our xy coordinate plane, or x f of x coordinate plane, same thing. Um, as x is going towards positive infinity, it looks like our f of x, our function, is going towards positive infinity. So we should see an end behavior doing something like that. Now as x goes towards negative infinity, so as you go out this way, f of x is going towards negative infinity. So we'd be going down. And so right now, and just looking at our end behaviors, we see that we're ending up in kind of that S shape where both uh, sides are going in opposite directions. So we would see maybe some polynomial doing something like this. And as a result, we know that that has to be uh, like uh, an odd degree there. So like X cubed. That could be a prime example of one. So F of X Again, it's the same thing as saying y is equal to x cubed. Um, and then for the leading coefficient, well, because we have an s facing the normal way, we know that this has to be positive over here, so it's not flipped then. So you could throw a 1, you could throw a 2 in front, doesn't really matter. You could throw any kind of number in, in front for that, and in front for that, and then you'd be good. So this would be one potential solution out of very, very, very many. Um, if you have something else, that's totally okay, just as long as you have an odd degree and something that's positive for your leading coefficient. For B, again, kind of taking that same strategy, xy coordinate plane. So here's our x, here's our f of x, which is the same thing as saying y. Um, as x goes towards positive infinity, we see that we are going down towards negative infinity. And then as x goes towards negative infinity, we see that we are also going down towards negative infinity. So right away, we notice that they are going in the same direction. So we do have a U shape. And what that means is that we have an even degree there. So like x to the fourth, we could even go with. Now. Again, we also have f of x, which is equal to this. Uh, because our arrows are pointing downwards, we know that we have a negative leading coefficient. We have a u going downwards. So you can throw a negative 1 in front for your leading coefficient. You can throw a negative you know, 5 or 7, negative 7. So you have a lot of different options to choose from. But again, here is just one example uh, that matches those following characteristics, negative x to the fourth. Again, though, that is warm-up part two A and B from our 5.2 number two set of notes.